Los Angeles is known for the rich and the famous. This is Philippe's, and they're famous for creating the French dip in 1908. Supposedly, but we'll get into that. Let's go jump into Philippe's and let's go see what it's all about. Come on. We just saw this nice couple come out of Philippe's. What was your guys' thoughts on the place? Oh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Really? Yeah, yeah we, we come here for you. We had one of the beef sandwiches and one of the... Okay. The pastrami one. Which one would you say is the best sandwich there? The second one. The pastrami? Yes, absolutely. Okay, we're gonna absolutely. try it. Thank you guys so have much. A you have a beautiful day. Have a good day. All right, now I'm even more excited to try Philippe's. And real quick history lesson. If you guys remember two years ago, we went to the worst reviewed Chinese spot. Well, here it is now. You guys are constantly telling me, go do more one stars. This is what happened during the pandemic. A lot of them shut down, so I haven't been able to do them. If you guys know any, put them in the comments. Let's go try this place. All right, let's do this. That's a Marlin. Oh yeah, you guys remember, we caught one. If you missed that video, link down below or click the card. Real quick history lesson, how this happened was a cop accidentally got a sandwich that was accidentally dipped in the sauce and he loved it so much. And if you look right here, there's another cop. What if that's the original? <laughs> then he's a uh, country <laughs> years old. And we're gonna get whatever's in that purple jar right there. Beets. It's pickled beets. Eggs. Eggs? It's a hard boiled egg in there. Inside the beet? Yeah. I don't know how they did that. Hello. How are you? Good, good. Can I get, uh, can we get two beef dips? Uh, two double dip. And then can we get a, two, two pastramis? Do you want those ones double dips? Okay, yeah, sure. What, out of, out of the other ones, the pork, the lamb, the ham, and the turkey, which ones are the best? Uh, from those, out of those, uh, the lamb is the most best seller. But okay. This is the second best seller. So okay. I recommend the lamb. So then let's get two lambs. You can also get it wet. So how about one lamb, one turkey? Out of those, which one would be the best one wet? No cash, no card. Wet is like super, super soggy. Yeah. I mean, I would rather just do them double dip and then give you a little extra side of laundry so you okay. can make them wet your That works. Cool, perfect. And then we want uh, this. All right, and that's it. We got a lot of food coming though. Oh my God. They're purple. Yes, yes, please. Look how many things. Look how kind of funny and you can blur me out. No, you look good. Thank you. Thank you. There you, go. you guys thank have a good day. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So, we have all of our sandwiches right in front of us right now, and good golly, they look good. Like, this is literally the original French dip. And if you know Jake and I at all, we love these damn things. Ooh, so good. These are all double dipped, which means they were placed in, the bread was placed inside of the juice twice. So, it's not like a normal. French dip that you see that where you get the sauce, all the juice, and then you dip it each time you eat it. It was already pre-dipped for us, which is pretty cool. And it's crazy. The, the people, the, the lady that helped us was amazing. They call her a carver because they carve the meat right in front of you and make the sandwich at the same time, which is crazy. Let's just try it how it is. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. The sogginess of the bread. The sogginess of the bread is where all the flavor is. And you could even go even more soggy than this. I think this is perfect, but I think you can go even more and it's called wet. It's where the whole thing is just soggy and you have to eat it now. This is not something that you like can take home and eat it later unless you get it completely dry, but then you have no flavor. And it's very salty and rich, mm -hmm. but it's so good. Supposedly they make like 500 gallons of this a week or something crazy like that. Really? I don't know, probably, probably more five gallons, but they're, they're spicy. What is this, spicy mustard? Spicy mustard. Let me give it a go. Try it out. I don't know. Because they're too. known for it, you know? She said be careful though, because it is spicy. Mm. 
Oh, very, very horseradishy. Mm -hmm. Almost like wasabi. Actually, it heats up quick. That's what horseradish is. Oh, makes sense. We also have some more sauce that they gave us. So if we did want to try the wet option, we can. And it's really cool that she told us like, Look, it's gonna be really soggy, so I'll just give it to you guys on the side so you can make your own decision on that. So weird thing about this place, this place claims that they're the first ones to ever create it. Mm -hmm. They have their whole story. Mind you, that was over a hundred years ago, so how factual is that story? There was, there was no one walking around with a camera making YouTube videos uh -huh. being like, all right, we did this. So there's another restaurant it's down the street. It's called Coles, and they also claim that they're the first person to ever create it. So someone's lying. Someone's lying, but the interesting part about it is they both started in 1908. So one or the other had to have seen someone doing something right in the popularity, and they snagged the idea. We're not sure. No one's really sure who did it because no one's alive still that was around there. It could also be the police officer. What if the police officer came here, ate it, and then went to the other place and was like, "Yo, can you make it this way?" Right, and then and he was like, "This is so good." And everyone else started doing it, and he was just like, "Hey, this is a thing." So we don't really know if they're the ex actual first because these other guys might be the first but hey if you want us to go to that place we can try those too before we jump into these other sandwiches i gotta try one of these purple eggs i don't know if i want to, to i'm scared man pickle i mean how is it even purple i don't understand give it let's give it a go so check this out this literally looks like barney's balls that's what it looks like doesn't it <laughs> it smells like a regular egg nothing nothing about it let's try it It's a little interesting. I don't know if I really like it. Maybe you're supposed to dip it in the sauce. I don't know. Look, I like my eggs, my hard boiled eggs, just regular, right? I like my eggs sitting in a sack. What? We got a lot of sandwiches. I know. So, yeah. so far, the first one's amazing. But that couple did say that the pastrami is the way to go. So I think the next one we're gonna try is the pastrami sandwich. So the pastrami, it looks amazing in here. Let's go for it, Jake. Let's do it. Mmm. Mm. That's good. But I kind of do like the beef one a little bit more. This one has the crispy ends on it, but it's chewy. The shami is like, it's like bubble gum to me. Uh-huh. It's really good in flavor, but I just like something about the classic. It just really like, it does it for me. We didn't need two of these. We didn't need two of these. No. We didn't need two of any of these sandwiches. We could have just done half and half. I thought you only got one of these. I, I figured we sent it. The, the people said it was so good. I was like, we gotta try it. Very chewy, but very good. I'm just going for the meat because the sandwich is good, but I don't want to get too full on this one. That should tell you something. Yeah, yeah. And check this out. This is how you can see how soggy the bread is. I just took the meat out. As you can see, it's very damp, but that's where all the flavor really is. And since Thanksgiving just passed, we gotta try the turkey dip. So I only got one of these, fortunately for us, because this is a lot of food. Check that out. You can see the dampness of that, the layer of dampness. All right, let's go for it, Jake. I'm going wet, 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 wet. Uh -huh. It's good. It's probably healthier than the beef one. I just think turkey's so flavorless. Like I don't think it has any flavor to turkey, so I don't really like turkey all that much. This Thanksgiving, I didn't even make it because I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I think I think what makes it good is the sauce. The sauce the, the gives it the flavor. Without the sauce, this thing would be dry as my great grandmother. All right. <laughs> I got a pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. Name that movie. Whoever does, I'll give you five bucks. I was growing up, they used to say I look like him. Mm. Alfalfa? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Alfalfa. Last but not least, we have the lamb. She said this was the next most popular, so we'll see how good it really could it be. It's definitely some thick meat inside of there. They're not like the sliced pieces of the beef or anything like that. This is definitely chunky, so let's go. Wet, wet. Wet, wet. Mmm. Mm. That's good. I was really anticipating it was gonna be tough meat. Uh -huh. Like it was gonna be like, oh, like beef jerky. It's very so fine. soft. Oh man, that's really good. This one I think would be the closest comparison to that beef one, but way thicker meat. The thing with, with, with us, with humans, we, we make something so delicious and then we try to change it up. We try to add turkey, pastrami, mm -hmm. lamb, carrots, mm -hmm. cheese, beans, Byron. <laughs> <laughs> you were the most obnoxious person I ever met. What do you want to tell Joe Byron? Take me out to dinner. Bing bong. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna choke on the way up. <laughs> Anyways, when you make something great, don't change it. Just let it be. But look, they did have a lot of competition. You know, think about it. Cole's down the street. That's their literal direct competition. So they definitely had to bring something forward, whether it was a different flavor like the lamb or the pork or the ham or the turkey. They the had to do something. They had to, <laughs> shut up, man. They had to do something a little bit different. I don't know what they have over there. If you want us to try it, we will. But now that we've tried every single sandwich, I can easily honestly say that for me at least, the beef is the way to go. You come in here, grab a double dipped beef dip, and you're gonna be chilling. A you don't need to try all the rest. Mm -hmm. Don't we'll save you time. the money, because look, all of this costed over $100, including the tip. So save yourself some money, buy a $9 sandwich, and you will be chilling. Mm -hmm. But I do want to point something out that is worth the money, and that is our merch. Check this out, guys. Jake has the new Shaka hand, hang loose, with the BT logos on it. I'm rocking the Brennan Hub. If you know us, we rock with Brennan Hub. Yeah. So pick something up at BrennanTaylor.com and support the channel so we Yo can do way. more videos like this. I'm glad I saved the other half of my beef one, did you? Uh, I ate it all. See? I'm coming back and I'm gonna finish with desserts, baby. So while you're enjoying, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Do your thing. And this is Jake's Bathroom Review. All right, let's make this quick. It feels like we're in a freaking subway. Look at the tiles, look at the hang on the ground. Got all those things, it is what it is. Someone's in there taking a shit, so can't go in there. But let's get it going. The vibes of this place is really cool. You know, like it's really just come in, eat, there's no music, there's no like, nothing like that that's gonna like distract you. It's really just come in, eat, and leave type of vibe. It honestly kind of reminds me of Union Station. I don't really know why, it just reminds me of like a train station or something like that. So the food was delicious, how was the bathroom? Remind me of like a New York train station. Literally, when you were gone, I said this place reminds me of like Union Station. I feel like we're in a train station. And Union Station's a block away, so it makes sense. So maybe they modeled it after it. Anyways, we're done eating, so let's get on out of here now. Come on, we're about to leave and we beat the lunch rush. Check that out. Don't want to be waiting in that line during lunch time. So come early, let's get out of here. Wow, it really does feel like you're stepping into a time machine. I feel like I'm jumping back to 1908. It's definitely delicious in there. So if you're in the area, come try it out. But definitely be safe and be weary because you are in downtown LA. That wraps up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, pick up the merch at BrennanTaylor.com. And until next time, I love y'all. I'll see you later. Peace. My anxiety takes a hold of me.